Okay, today we're going to be demonstrating the Webster technique for pregnancy on Ashley. The Webster technique is used for is making sure that she's comfortable in her pregnancy, but also making sure there's enough room for baby to move around. In the case of a breech pregnancy, the Webster technique oftentimes helps baby have enough room to move around to get into a head down position. So we're checking the position of her sacrum, which is the triangle shaped bone at the base of her spine. And we're using a couple of different ways of checking her legs to see which side we need to adjust. So we're going to use the drop table, which is a little bit loud, to adjust her sacrum. These adjustments are usually very comfortable. Okay, go ahead and hop up. We're going to flip over. of the Webster technique, mainly where we do a little trigger point therapy on our round ligament. It's almost always going to be the round ligament opposing the side of the sacrum that was too high. So once we find it using a couple specific landmarks, we just massage it gently for about a minute. This can be pretty tender. <laughs> a little tender. Uh, but again, what this is doing is taking taking pressure off the uterus. So the uterus can sometimes be a little bit twisted. We like to use the word torsion. If the sacrum is pulling on it from one side and the round ligament is pulling on it from the other side, it can create a less optimal environment for baby. The Webster technique is something that we do every time we see our pregnant patients. Um, so it doesn't have to be when they're breached. It's also just for prevention and comfort. Another piece I like to add is working on her hip flexors or her psoas muscle, giving that a nice stretch on both sides. Do that over on this side. That's the Webster technique for pregnancy.